Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we will learn about ng class. ng class is, is very important in terms of setting a class name to your DOM elements. So we can define one class, we can define more than one class, we can put some expressions, we can pass an object, we can use string. So ng class, we can do a lot of permutation combinations. That makes it very powerful and we'll learn everything about it in today's episode. My name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience in Angular, Node, React, MongoDB, MySQL. I'm here to share my knowledge with you all and also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please do like my videos and subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you in advance. So far in the uh, Angular 9 full tutorial series, we have covered around 14 tutorials, uh, right from basic beginners to introduction, to modules, to decorators, components, directives, uh, NGF, switch, for, style, and in today's episode, we'll learn about ng class. So what is ng class? ng class is a directive which is used to set the class name for an element. So we'll define the class name in the template and we will write the class name implementation, which is the properties of it in a separate CSS file. We can pass dynamic variables or values to the class name. We can pass as a string, we can pass as an array, and we can also pass as an object. We can pass it right from component. Uh, we'll learn all about that um, in, in this hands-on ex examples. Uh, but just to give you a syntax, uh, just like how we write ng style in square brackets, we'll write the same ng class in square bracket equal to the class name, right? This is a simple example. And then you can pass multiple classes by space. You can also assign using uh, the array or json array object which is passing whether setting it to true or false expressions uh, we'll see that in hands-on so let's get started with some hands-on examples all right uh, as usual i'm making some notes for you ng class is a directive which is used to set the class name for dom elements okay uh, the way we write is ng class equal to will give the class name, right? Uh, let's see some examples by doing passing uh, strings, etc. And we will see how to do each of that in detail. So first thing, let's put a simple div uh, learning ng class, right? Nothing fancy, just a simple div. You can use any element that you want, right? So now to put the, um, let's see the output first. So you will see simple, which says learning ng class. Now we are going to add our directive, which is ng class equal to. So I'm going to first give a fixed class name, right? And always remember the common mistake we do here is you see the error. That's because it is not double quotes. It's, it should always be a string. So it should be in single quotes inside double quotes. So that's something that common mistake that people do. Let's make note of it as well. Common mistake we do is in case sensitivity of ng class. And the other mistake that people do is mostly in the quotes, string quotes. So make sure you don't do that. All right, so now that we have the class, let's go ahead and define this style property in the same app component dot scss. So here let's give color blue and you can add multiple details like you can say background color, uh, you want gray, right? So now when you go here, you see gray color applied, blue color, text color, which is coming from our uh, class name. So if you make a change, you should see, see the change here, right? So simple. So we have defined our ng class and we have provided one class name. Right, this was about the simple string. Simple using static class name. Now let's make it dynamic. 
which means we will send the value from the component right so now I'm going to make it dynamic by passing the value so instead of this one I'm going to cut it here okay and I'm going to give class CLS name right it's a variable name and then we'll go into our component or TS file and let's give that component name and make it so this is the same class name that I'm giving and this is a variable name so I'm using the variable name here to map it now if you see there is no change in the output because the component name is one and it has applied the same here right now this is simple example now you can apply multiple class names for example I have more than one class name right so I'm going to say class name 2 equal to right so let's go ahead define that class also in the component CSS here I'm going to say color blue right uh, so I am removing the color here so in one class I have background in other class I have blue now this will apply only background because there's only one class name right so to pass the other class name simply pass the second variable name of the class and you should be good right uh, unexpected token okay so this will be an array right so whenever you want to pass more than one class name it will become an array right so we see how the array classes so to pass more than one class we use array right we use the array to pass more than one class name now if you see it has applied both background and the color which is what is here background color and color so this is how we can apply more than one classes right and this is how we make it dynamic in terms of passing from the component right so these are the frequent uses of ng class now let's take it to next level and now we will see how to use with expressions ng class with expressions right for example you want to set something to true or false right um, learning ng class with say uh, expression values expression evaluations right so here I'm going to say um, check if class name is true apply it else apply something else right so we can say um, if class name is true right so here we'll use evaluation for example if it's their value so we'll need some more I think boolean value that we will define uh, but the idea is uh, you put it as a, a variable and then we pass it as true or false right so let's put that so here we'll replace this and it's an expression so we'll put it inside here we'll put one if it's true do this right else if it's two put false right so here we are telling if the value is one then do this if it's two do this right so that, like this we can define uh, the conditions of what we want to have it right let's see that so here we are seeing there is only background color because there's only one right so here I'm going to make it false and make it true here so what this will do is now apply the color which is blue and there is no background right so which one to apply you can set that by setting true or false expressions basically so this is another cool usage that you can do so you can evaluate expressions to true or false and set the values accordingly that you want to use it in your template so these are basically main highlights of how you use ng class there can be more complex use cases we'll cover that when we start building our application but this is only the fundamentals i'm trying to teach you so give all of this an, a, a try uh, try with simple strings, try with uh, array of strings, try with expressions. Um, let me know if you have any doubts or any queries.
right cool so that brings us to the end of this tutorial in the next episode we'll learn about angular data binding data binding is extremely crucial extremely critical extremely important uh, that you don't want to miss so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notification when i post that tutorial to, which is tomorrow um, thank you so much for joining again as usual if you have any queries doubts drop in the comments i'll be happy to help you thank you so much